I'm going to show you how you can edit Airtable records with a form. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to create a tool that allows you to share a URL with anybody who doesn't necessarily have access to your Airtable and they can edit records. So in this case, what we do is we give you a formula so that each record you have it becomes um, a button. And with this button, you can edit that record. So you can share this URL with anybody and they can edit records. And then once you get to the form, we wanted to have full support for every Airtable field type. And we wanted it to just feel a, like a, like essentially like a good experience like the Airtable form does. So let me go ahead and show you all the field types that we support here. So deleting attachments, that's text, adding attachments. I'm going to try to go through them fast because there's a lot. So I just uploaded an attachment from my computer. I can do that. I can edit this long text field. This is a URL. If I put a space in it, it tells me it's not valid. You know, any invalid URL, it will tell you. Um, this is a single select field. This is a currency field. You see the currency on the left here. This is a multi-select field. You can change it like that. This is text. This is rich text, so I can, you know, make changes, etc. This is a linked records field. So I can remove linked records, I can add them. This is a checkbox field. This is a date, I see the time on the right. If I didn't have time, it would just not show up. This is a rating, this is a phone number field, I can just add phone numbers to it. Email also has validation, so you'll see that error again if I have an invalid email. Um, this is you know just a number, this is a percent, you see the percent over here. This is duration. So if I change this right here, it will show me the duration format we're used to and a barcode. And then I can click save and there are no records being created or any of those things that, that you know some other tools do. What we do here is we just literally update your record. So the record gets updated instantly. You get to the success message and we are completely done. So if I refresh this page, I see that my record immediately got updated. Now, let me show you how you would set this up. And the setup is actually one of the coolest parts. It's actually really, really simple to set this up. It's, um, this is the whole setup page. Uh, you would start by filling in your API key, and then you would fill up your Airtable base here, select it, and then you would choose your table that you'd like to use. In my case, it's gonna be this furniture table. And then I will choose the fields that I want to have in the form. So. I can choose to have you know, a subset of the fields. I can choose all of them, it's up to me. In my case, I'm just gonna add all the fields. Now, once I've actually added those things, I can even click on those fields and override the title. I can add a subtitle to the field and I can actually even disable editing for most of these field types. So this is really nice if you have, let's say a linked records field and I'll demonstrate this in a second, but it, you'll essentially be able to share an editable experience and show people some information, but not allow them to change it, you know, not see other linked records, not see all the options on a multi-select, etc. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, while we're at it, I'll actually make vendor here, which is a linked record, I'll disable editing, and then I will also do materials and finishes, and I will disable editing for that one too. So those two fields you'll see in a bit. And then you can use a redirect URL. So this actually works in the same way a redirect URL works with Airtable forms. So you see how we do a placeholder just like Airtable does. And this means that you can use any of our extensions that are made for Airtable form. You can actually use them with this form as well. As long as you provide the redirect URL here, everything would work nicely together. And let's go ahead and save. And then once we've saved this, we click on this little settings icon and we are given a formula. So let's copy this formula and go to our table. I'm going to go ahead and open the table right here. And I will be able now to add a new field to my table and the new field of, to my table will have a formula. So let's do editor URL and let's just do editor URL one and then do a formula over here and then paste the formula. Now I can just go ahead and open this URL. So that was actually the entire setup. We are done setting this up. So let me go ahead and show you what the disabled fields look like now. Um, in my case, I wanted to do the materials and finishes over here. So you see, I can't do anything over here. I can't click on anything. I can't see the extra details and then vendor as well. Um, the vendor was a, is a linked records field. So I've pretty much hidden the linked records, the other linked records for my users 
And now all they can see is this one that's selected and they can't edit it any, uh, and they can't edit it. So we can go ahead and save over here and we are completely done. So this is sort of the start of mini extensions form. We are really excited about the possibilities. We are going to make this a lot more powerful. We plan on adding features as users request. So please go ahead and request any features you would like us to build.